Let's talk about flats. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Through my channel, Busby Style, my goal is to help women just like you who are busy, juggling life, look like you have your act together, even if you don't. Today I want to talk about flat shoes, the scoop on flats, trendy flats, what is happening. I want to say just out of the gate, if you want to see some styling with flat shoes, I just did a spring lookbook video where I've featured many looks, both with heels and flats, so that will be a good reference point. I will put links to that below, and I'm gonna continue that trend moving forward, so if I'm featuring an outfit, I'm gonna try to pepper in some flat options also, because I know many of you can't wear heels due to joint problems or foot problems, and so I wanna make sure that we talk about flats. Flats are really hard. They don't make you look as good as heels do, they just don't. Oftentimes, you know, you think a flat is going to be more comfortable, but but in many cases it's not. So it's really hard to find one that's stylish, feminine, that's a big one, and also comfortable. So I'm gonna kinda walk you through some of the trendier flat styles and talk about what I have read and experienced as being the most comfortable. But I also wanna use this opportunity as a forum. So we're building this community and I'm very excited about that. So if you all have found the holy grail of flat shoes, please share it with us. Let us know why it's the best. Collectively, we can all be a great resource for each other. So I'm gonna walk you through some of my finds and then I hope you all will share some of your finds too. The first style of flats I wanna talk about is the mule, like this guy. It's just closed toe at the end and then it has an open back. It's a slide on shoe and generally speaking, these are easy to get on and off, which I happen to like. I do not like to have to monkey around with a buckle. And they're also pretty comfortable for the most part. Now, when I'm looking for shoes, you can either look for a traditional comfort shoe, so go to a website and search out comfort shoes. Or you can have go-to brands that you know are traditionally pretty comfortable. So for me, that's Sam Edelman. I always check Sam Edelman. I know Dolce Vita is pretty good. I know Vince Camuto is a great one. But those are three of my go-tos that I know are not only comfortable, but also stylish, because the style component is very important to me. So the mule or the slide, and the only difference between the mule and the slide is the mule is closed toe and the slide is open toe. Another new kid on the block in terms of flats is the flat slingback shoe. And I happen to like a slingback also because I feel like, again, it's easy to get on and easy to get off. For the most part, even if it has a buckle, you can still just pull the back up over your heel. I haven't found a pair of slingbacks that I'm dying over just yet, so I haven't ordered any, but I will definitely put a couple recommendations below for flat slingbacks. So if that's something that interests you or piques your interest, then that could be a good style for summer. You know, it's open back. It will keep you cooler, but then that strap on the, on the heel will also keep your foot more secure and in place whereas you know a mule your foot kind of lifts up as you're walking so it's maybe a bit more comfortable or a bit more secure on your foot the next flat shoe style I want to talk about is the sneaker now there's obviously the traditional athletic sneaker you could do a really fresh white pair like this by New Balance I happen to think New Balance in terms of walking even though it's a running shoe is awesome. It is comfortable and almost like you're walking on little clouds. So I gravitate toward New Balance for walking. I think it's important to think about a chic sneaker as well. There are so many options for chic sneakers right now because sneakers are having this moment in fashion, thank goodness, because they're comfortable. A pair that I found and I did feature in my spring lookbook video is this pair by Tree Torn. They've got some support, some cushion on the bottom, but what I loved about this pair is that it's perforated. The whole thing is open so it keeps your feet really cool and you don't have to worry about wearing little ped socks in here even the bottom of the shoe is rubbery so you could literally just wipe it down if you needed to and I just thought for summer that's a really cute fun option but it will go with everything and then also it has the functional component of keeping you cool and being pretty easy to clean 
There are a lot of options for espadrilles. There's the espadrille like slip on, there's the espadrille sneaker. That's another shoe style that you could consider for your spring summer season that's flat that's comfortable, that's functional, that will look cute with your summer clothes, but also be flat so you can manage and walk in it and be comfortable in it. So the espadrille is a good one. And the next category I wanna talk about for flat shoes is the ballet flat. And for the longest time, the ballet flat has been that round toe traditional ballet flat. And that shoe is still going. It's always a classic. You can always wear those rounded toe ballet flats, but if you're looking for something a little bit more current, you may want to look at a pointed toe ballet flat. Now, traditionally for ballet flats, teaks are really comfortable. I love Sam Edelman Felicia ballet flats. Cole Haan is really good. Tori Birch is really good. Yossi Samra is a really good line for ballet flats and comfort. With the pointed toe ballet flats, I really haven't found a shoe yet that I think is extraordinarily comfortable. So I would love your input on that one. If you all have found a pointed toe or an almond toe shaped ballet flat that you think is supremely comfortable, please let us know in the comments below. The next category is the loafer, and the loafer is something I struggle with. I see some women and they look fabulous in a loafer. So it just depends on you, your style personality, your confidence level, your preferences, but that's another flat shoe style that could be a go-to and also very comfortable. And there are tons of options for those loafers. I'll put a couple in the description box below, but a couple of the brands that are really good are Todd's and Coach. Obviously this time of year, sandals is another style of flat shoe that you're going to be looking at. Sandals are very important, especially for the summer season or if you're going on a trip. You may want a pair of flip flops, you may want a pair of double strap slide sandals, you may want a strappy sandal. For me personally, for a flat sandal, again, I look for a pair that doesn't have a buckle that is easy to get on, easy to get off, and then also it has to have some cushion. So those completely flat flats just don't work for me. I need some arch support and some support on my foot. What I like is a pair by Sam Edelman. They're very simple and chic. It's just two straps, and then they have some cushion at the bottom. It's not a ton of support, but it is some support. So I think those are a really good option for spring, summer, and they come in a bunch of colors. So I'll put links to those below as well. Other things to think about are the Chelsea booty. You may want a Chelsea booty for spring. You know, maybe it's a phage colored boot or skin colored booty. Those are really nice and those are really versatile and really functional. And then you could do something like a moto boot. Now I have a pair of moto boots. They're not exactly flat, but you can find pair, a pair that is and I'll put a recommendation below. But this is another flat shoe option that could be really cute for spring. But I think it's nice to have a couple pairs of booties that you could sprinkle in during the spring season that you know you may want to look at flats or having a chunky heel that's low so that they're manageable and easy to walk in. Some trendy shoe details you may want to keep your eye on are bows, plastic detailing, and that's like basically see-through panels on your shoes, bold colors, and Western-inspired detailing like stitching and buckles. You know, it's not realistic for us to wear heels every day. You just have to be practical, and, and there are moments in your life when you need to wear flats, whether you're a teacher and you're on your feet all day, you're going to Walt Disney World and you're gonna be walking, you're going to New York City, you're gonna be walking for miles. Lots of different things that you need flats for, so I hope that gives you kind of some ideas of what to look for, what's out there in terms of flats. Again, if you guys can share any flats that you found that you think are incredibly comfortable, I think that would be really helpful for the community, for all of us, we'd really appreciate you sharing that information. Do let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Again, I'll put recommendations in the description box for you all to check out. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already that you will subscribe to my channel and also pop over to the blog busbystyle.com. That's my website and I do put a bunch of content over on the website that I don't put on YouTube. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.